Hi guys, Simon here from Super Nerd Gaming. Now, the hidden gem I want to talk about today is 2010's Enslaved for the Xbox 360 and PS3, developed by Ninja Fairy, the team behind the fantastic Heavenly Sword and the rebooted Devil May Cry. I played this game on release as I'd read a good article on the game and after seeing the art style, instantly fell in love with it. Now the reason I call this a hidden gem, even though it received some high marks on release, is a lot of people completely miss this game, which in my opinion is a crying shame. But when asked what game stands out the most from last gen for me, this title will crop up time and time again. Enslaved is a reimagining of the story Journey to the West. Although the game title does kind of give this away, the game is set 150 years into the future after a post-apocalyptic global war. Humanity struggling to make its way in this new world where machine remnants from the war left stalking the landscape. It is indeed a very dangerous place for humanity. The game story starts off with our protagonist Monkey locked in a cell on a machine slaver ship trying any way he can to escape. He notices a young woman escape the cell in front of him. She runs away and not long after that the ship starts to malfunction obviously due to her interference. Now this level in the story is basically our tutorial to the characters on movement and fighting as we still chase the young woman across the ship with it falling apart around us exposing it to a post apocalyptic skyline of New York as the ship flies by. Now we do finally escape albeit hanging on to the young woman's escape pod as it jettisons from the ship. Now this is where our journey really begins with Monkey waking up from the crash finding he's been fitted with a headband by the young woman who we now come to know as Trip. With the headband, Trip can control Monkey. It causes great pain when he disobeys her. Trip promises to remove the band when Monkey safely delivers her back home. Enslaved is an action packed platform game where we fight across levels using Monkey and Trip's abilities to survive this hostile environment. Monkey is mainly the protector of Trip having to fight hordes of mechs off, but that doesn't make Trip useless. She has abilities to cause distractions and to scan areas where mines may be lurking or mechs may be asleep, and I think this makes the two of them a brilliant team. The graphics of Enslaved are truly gorgeous, not being your standard post-apocalyptic wasteland of desert and orangey colours, Enslaved stands out with a multitude of vibrant colours where nature has taken back the once great city of New York. We see streets and buildings filled with plant life and a fantastic blue sky that sets the backdrop for us. Even the enemy mecha look fantastic, covered in rust stalking the streets. It's such a colourful game. But the high point of the graphics for me are the characters, Monkey and Trip. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul. I wholeheartedly believe this. With these characters, when you can look into their eyes and you believe the reasoning, the fear, and you basically believe them as people. And when a game has done that, to believe in these characters, then the game has done more than its job. Hopefully if I've done anything with this video, I've convinced you to go out and pick up Enslaved and enjoy it as much as I have. And then you can pass it on to someone else how good this game is. So it becomes more than just a hidden gem, it becomes a classic. <laughs>